1984, Alexander Jentsch was born. And Heber was always made to feel a parental hat is very secondary and subjugated to your Sea Org member hat. During this time, Heba was doing a lot of media interviews. He was the church spokesman. 60 Minutes, um, oh God, the whole plethora, Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Um, Pardon? Phil Donahue. Phil Donahue, uh, numerous shows. And what is not known by the world is just how much David Miscavige micromanaged Heber on what he could say and what he couldn't say on these shows. One thing that Miscavige whipped Heber in a frenzy on was to attack psychiatry. You know, I, I, I think it's very clear that there is a concern about the fact in that Time Magazine article that we are exposing drugs and we are exposing the fact that these kinds of drugs like this killer drug Prozac is taking people's lives and there's somebody who's concerned about it, you know. I don't know why there is so much concern, but I'll tell you what, I'm supported by a lot of media and I saw Dan Rather hit it real hard a week ago and I, I've seen it on uh, Donahue, I've seen it on uh, a number of national TV shows exposing this killer drug. It's taking people's lives. And your program was it. in the your, your program was in the Wall Street Journal. Exactly what your your agenda is with regard to drug companies. And Scientology you know what is orchestrating you know what the happened? campaign you against bet your life. Process. We are showing it. Right. And you know what happened? They lost one billion one hundred million dollars in in about two weeks after they put that article on the Wall Street Journal. You know why? Because people knew it was phony. They knew it was destructive. No one's going to take a drug. And that. That company, Eli Lilly, was producing Oroflex before that. The Food and Drug Administration took it off because it was killing people. Well, they're putting out another one that's killing people. And I'll tell you what, Dennis, we're going to continue to go after it because we don't believe that that kind of drug should be on the market. That came from Miscavige. People thought, oh, my God, he is off the deep end. That was prodded like a cattle prod on Heber to act like that on these shows. And Heba got incredibly punished. After every show, he didn't do this right, he didn't do that right, his, his voice wasn't right, his tone wasn't right. The Reverend Gent says that he has investigated what was the basis for the judge's decision. I traced back where that came from, this whole schizophrenic paranoia concept that he has. It came from Interpol. At that time, the president of Interpol was a former SS officer, Paul Dickoff. And to find that Judge Breckenridge quoted a Nazi SS officer as the authority on Scientology, I find unconscionable. You may support it. I can't support that in any way, shape, or form. If there are laws that are violated, there are ways to deal with that, uh, Mr. Hayworth, and of course uh, uh, that is a situation where I think, uh, again, Scientology has done a great deal. We've taken 100,000 people off of drugs. How many people is your organization? I don't know how many your church has done, but I think it's great if your church has done that sort of thing. I don't know whether you take people off of drugs. We've restored over two million people's education. The work I'm involved in is handling the calls, picking up the pieces um, uh, associated with families that Who call us. You? Uh, because of the problems created who, by Scientology and other organizations. You? And a disproportionate you? number of the calls come from people like... Look, um, I understand that you have an obviously... You've been uh, involved in Scientology. You have an obvious different viewpoint. And, it's not uh, a case the good of a minister, viewpoint. I'm representing the, Let me respond to the good minister here for a second. Uh, minister, regardless of how you may feel about my religion, I appreciate the fact that you... Uh, I'm not talking about ahead. a religious issue. No, I'm just talking about the minister here. But I'll tell you what. 
you know, I mean, here's here's the law enforcement news on can saying, you know, you people are really, uh, you know, something should be checked out we're about you. We're talking about Scientology, not we're ta- can. We're talking about both. You're here. You put your organization on the line. I'm not a part of can. I'm you, just an individual where do you who live? got raped where do you spiritually live? by Scientology. Well, I will and there tell are plenty you. of others who have been raped, too. A physical rape by members of CAN, and you can talk about spiritual rape, which is a rather subjective concept. It is. It's a and very I, subjective concept. I think the spiritual rape of man is done by psychiatry, and you know that, and you know that I oppose that kind of rape because we've exposed it. All right, let's go to a right, telephone, telephone call telephone. here. Let's go to Gene. It got to the point where if he had to talk to media, he would literally get a physical reaction of fear because of the after show humiliation and punishment and what we call cramming, which is correction, that he would have to suffer at the hands of Miscavige. Miscavige was the later terrorist and the earlier similar was Heber's father. The later big male dominating figure in Heber's life was David Miscavige. You told us that the hole consisted of a couple of, I think, double-wide trailers? Yes. Um, It had bars on the windows, and the one entrance was guarded by security 24 hours a day. Um, and it contained in it, at the time that I went into the hole in May of 2007, there was over a hundred top um, Scientology international executives. Uh, it was where you actually, you ate there, you slept there on the floor, um, and you know you never left, with the exception of a brief period to go take a shower and come back. When you slept in a, you were given a sleeping bag, you slept on the floor in a sleeping bag. And what were the conditions like on the on the floor to sleep? Well, there were um, ants. The place was infested by ants, so ants would crawl on you. Why didn't you just take off and get away from the hole? It's not possible. Absolutely not physically possible. You couldn't make it past security. The, the, the windows were barred. Um.